Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Habib Ali and I am an ICT tutor by profession. Welcome back to another lesson. In today's lesson, we are going to be learning about how to add borders around cells in Excel and understanding the difference between borders and grid lines in Excel. There's a lot of people get confused between borders and grid lines, so hopefully we are going to clear this up today. So for this lesson, I'm using a different uh, spreadsheet called Gardens. So just a little data here about a garden center. So let's go straight to the question and let's have a look. The question for the day is asking us to add a border around and between so this is important around and between the cells in the cell range A2 all the way to H2. So adding a border around and between the cells between A2 all the way to H2. Let's have a look. Going to this quarter one work worksheet, like I said, bit of data on garden center selling um, different types of plants. So A2 all the way to H2, so that's the range it is asking us to add a border around. Now the key thing here, specifically the question is asking to have borders around, so that means around the edges and also in between. So it's asking in between here, kind of in between each of the cell. Okay, so that's what the question is asking us. Now to access for um, to access borders um, in the ribbon is in the home tab and in this group here called font you can see just above the word font this is your border option now I'm going to click on the drop down arrow and it does give me a lot of different forms of borders that I can use now let's discuss the question first of all and then we'll experiment the some of the other different borders that is available to us now for um, to apply borders around and in between the option you will need straight away in another words is actually asking us to apply all borders now if you look at this little picture here of borders you can see you've got a border around the edges as well as this cross inside which is kind of representing borders outside and borders inside in another words it means all borders needs to be applied so the sensible option straight away is to go for this one so if i just click on it and take the highlighting off you can see now the borders has been applied around the edges and also in between in between each one now to show you clearly i'm just going to click on print preview now here you can see the borders a lot more clearly so you can see the outside border there and the borders inside so that's answering the question for the borders now if I just highlight this range again and go into borders, there's plenty of other borders that you can apply. Let's say you just wanted a bottom border just to apply at the bottom. You can do so just a top border, a left one or even a right border. There are occasions where we need to use some, some, some of these types of borders in within our data. Um, if you wanted to remove your borders, you would simply click on no border. I'm going to do this for you and this will remove the borders that I applied because there will be times where you make mistakes um, just like I do occasionally and uh, the borders are incorrect so before I can do anything else I need to remove that border to apply a different one going to go back into borders if you just wanted just an outside border you can have you can have this one so this one will not have the in between ones you know such as these in between the cells it will not have them borders you can go for a thick border you can uh, you can see that's uh, more of a thicker line than the previous one so that's a thick border which sometimes is good to have to emphasize on certain cells that you want 
you can have a double border as well a thick border so there are all different types of borders that you can you can apply by all means do experiment using different ones and see which one suits you um, the best but in this particular um, question for today's lesson we need to understand this particular border which is asking us for the outside and in between in other words in the excel language we mean all borders now the other question we need to understand today is what is the difference between grid lines and borders because there are uh, many times I have come, come across uh, amongst my students as well sometimes you could get confused between grid lines and borders and sometimes we assume they mean the same thing they actually do not even though the result could be similar at times so a border you understand what it is now is a thick line or a, or a final line and if you go into print preview you can see straight away the border is visible now to understand grid lines you may want to refer to lesson 49 um, just a few lessons back which uh, where i introduced what is grid lines and how to apply them now grid lines is actually these gray lines here these little boxes thus um, representing each cell in excel or on a worksheet uh, so these are grid lines now they look like borders uh, similar to the border I've just applied but please do remember they are not borders they are called they are called grid lines and by default remember the grid lines do not show on your printout so if I go into print preview you can see the grid the grid lines are not showing on the print um, the only one that is present is the border which I have applied so very quickly these are grid lines the gray ones and the this is an example of a border and remember there are other borders that you can apply from this list as well um, and uh, like i said refer to lesson 41 for more clarification what grid lines are and how to apply them etc and this concludes uh, today's quick lesson um, please do remember to like and share and subscribe to our channel if you have not done so and I shall see you over in the next lesson until then please do take care and goodbye